Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'll explain how to merge unequal data frames and replace missing values by zero. In this video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the two data frames that we can create with lines 2 to 4 and 6 to 8 of the code. So if you run all of these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio two new data frame objects appear which are called data1 and data2. And we can also have a look at these data frames by clicking on the data objects and then you will see the structure of our data frames. So the first data frame consists of five rows and three columns, an ID column and the variables x1 and x2. And the second data frame consists also of five rows and three columns whereby we also have a ID variable called ID and two other variables which are called y1 and y2. For this example you have to note that the IDs of the first data frame are ranging from 1 to 5 and the IDs of the second data frame are ranging from 3 to 7. So partly these IDs are overlapping but not all of the IDs are represented in both data frames. So if we want to merge these two unequal data frames, then we can apply the merge function as you can see in line 10 of the code. And within the merge function, we have to specify the names of our two data frames. So in this case, data one and data two. Then we have to specify the ID column, which is called ID in our case. And we have to specify the all argument to be equal to true. So if you run lines 10 to 12 of the code, you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called data all. And we can have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object. And then you can see that we have created a new merged version of our two data frames. And you can also see that all the IDs ranging from one to seven are represented in this data frame and the positions that did not exist in one of the data frames were set to an A. So you can see here in the columns X1 and X2, we have two NA values in each column and the same for the two columns Y1 and Y2. So let's assume that we want to replace these NA values by zero. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 14. And in this line of code, I'm first specifying the name of our merged data frame, then I'm opening square brackets and within the square brackets I'm using the isNA function to identify all positions of our data frame that are NA. And then I'm assigning to these positions the value 0. So if you run line 14 of the code, our data is updated and then if we have a look at our data Again, you can see that the NA values were replaced by zero. Please note that you should only do that in case this makes sense from a theoretical perspective. So if you just replace values by zero without a good reason, it might happen that your data gets biased. So please make sure that the replacement of NA values in your data frame is theoretically justified. So in this video I have shown you how to merge unequal data frames and replace NA values by zero. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of this video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.